Right, let's get started. So, piece of paper, pencil, rubber. Hope you can see the outside. So, we are coming up kind of to the middle. And we're going to do some light shapes. So, if you've got a pen, you could just do some little dots. I'm going to press harder so you can actually see. But we have like a triangle shape here okay we are then going to come from this corner and we're going to go slightly diagonal up and we're going to put a dot there and we're going to do the same on this side so we're going to come up slightly kind of out to here and we're going to do a dot we're going to come back to this triangle, we're going to come down and we're going to come a little bit curved that way and that way. And that's it. Look, that looks like a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so this comes up here. And this comes up. Yeah. <laughs> a bunny with two long eyelashes. <laughs> I'm being silly, sorry. Right, curve down. Curve down. Like that. We're going to come down that way, up slightly that way, and then up more angled. See to that point there? Like that. I'm just going to pull this down the end a bit there. Now on the other side, we are coming down, we are going at an angle that way, and we are going at an angle the other way. Are you guessing what it is yet? <laughs> now we are going to do a few lines, so kind of back and forth to here and a line here and a line there. I hope you can see them. I press quite lightly. Over this side, we're going to go that way. Line. So I don't want like a what's it like a coloring in book line. I kind of want more bits that look. So we're traveling, working out where something is, but without doing. Kind of a round dark mark and we're then doing a curve there and then we're doing a line let me just work this out whether i've done it too big so i'm not sure if i've gone too high so if you're practicing at home this is my brain checking itself so i'm pausing from that bit and I'm coming back here. So there is a line here, a line here, which takes me to there. I then come up and I have a line that takes me. Now I think that is right. Just looked quite big to me. So my brain double checked it by going on that jigsaw path back. Now over this side, I've got, oh, I should wait a bit, shouldn't I? Make sure you're caught up, <laughs> get too carried away. So on this side, I come down and down like that. And on this down and down and across kind of shape. It's weird at the moment. He's also 
kind of see that one. There's another one kind of comes from that. Then I've got an angle, so I'm looking at this angle kind of here. Very light if you're in pencil. If you think you might like to do this every two weeks, which is what our plan is, and if you haven't got it, it might be worth investing in a little sketchbook and a pencil, then at least you can look back on your pictures. My brain was jumping ahead there. Um, right, so we're coming back up here. And doing just a line. If you're in pen, just do a few marks so you're just kind of telling yourself where that's going. Now I'm coming to the edge of here and I'm coming up. And that's going that way. And that's going that way. So when you're drawing animals, you're kind of looking at where do these points start? not where your brain thinks an ear or whatever leg should be so i'm actually looking in the eye and i'm coming to this point and often as well with things like ears they're not stuck on the outside they're actually within the head so this one comes up that way Now where are we going? So let's come over here. So we've got that dark shape and then I think roughly here might be a little bit too big. But we will guess it. And then I'm looking at where does the bottom of this ear come? in relation i don't think i have to hide what it is anymore i think you might know <laughs> you can't it does look like a bunny rabbit though right comes out here now this one comes i'm looking at this angle now i don't care what the object is i'm looking at this one is kind of more angled this one's a little bit more straighter but still angled and then curve Like that. Oh, it looks like a cat now. We can say it. Now, where is this over this side? So let's go on a journey with this one. Oh, I'll pause for you to do an ear. Now, this one comes out here. There's kind of like a mark there. Then I'm out another bit. And I'm coming in. And then squiggle and then this is going to come up here now at this stage I mean I'm doing it quite accurately because you're copying me but I generally do a really scrappy drawing when I'm drawing something up just so you know you've kind of got everything in the right place so this ear again, a bit like this, is more straight on this side. What you don't want to do, and I've had this over the years with students, they've done the most beautiful eyes, they've done another beautiful eye and they're completely in the wrong place. <laughs> and then they're heartbroken when I tell them to rub them out. Right, these eyes need to get a bit bigger, but we'll do that with dark bits. So I'm hoping, I can't see, but I'm hoping you have two ears, two eyes and a nose. So let's come back down here. So from this corner, we're coming very lightly and breaking this line up. This comes around here. There. 
kind of slightly angled so and then this this might not be long enough i'm just looking so it's kind of another bit i'm always feeling my way around the drawing so this is a short one this one the kind of shading is going to come around there and then there's a shaded kind of bit that comes around here and always never know if i'm going too fast so do put in the comments if i'm going too fast for, for next week I'll do it slower. Now this line comes here. And then we have like a sort of an angle. Very lightly. Don't, we're just hinting at where everything is at the moment. And there's another line. So this is kind of a highlight and then there's another line that comes here so this comes out so this is where can you see i've got a starting point and a finishing point and i'm often will have that point and that point which is my brain planning where they're going and then i'm looking at the bit in between so it comes an angle here and an angle here like that See, it's like he's got a funny smirk on his face. <laughs> now, I need to know where a bit of his neck is, so I'm looking back to the eye in here, and I can actually see it's from here. For some shading. He's actually kind of watered and I don't know if we're gonna have time to draw it all so I think what we'll do is we will do the face and then if we have time we can put some other bits in because we've only got half an hour so we hopefully have things in the right place and now we're gonna do some shading like we did last week so let's go and do the eyes so let's in my curve do a curve here first like that I always like to do the eyes first because then I it sounds a bit mad but it comes alive a bit to me then the drawing my friend always leaves eyes last because it's her favorite bit she leaves the best till last but I think they always look a bit weird when they haven't got personality so I've just done that darker in there, dark here, so my brows are pressing harder. Dark to here. So now we have a shape here that comes Around like that and then there is a highlight here so I really don't want to cover this in and it's like a slither it's like a, a skinny slither of pizza <laughs> describe it as and then we'll color some shade in this bit's pupils are really dark and then we'll dark here. Oh, this side's darker than the line. Ah, oh, cute. Right, so now we need the middle tone in between. We've got the highlight, the, the darkest shadow. Now we need the highlight. But there is a lighter bit around here. So I am going to not press as hard. I did here, I wanted it a bit darker up there. And then I am shading, and as I shade around, I'm going to leave a white ring around the outside. So I'm going to do little circles there. Um, so you don't always have to do these outlines. We don't really want outline outlines. 
We want to use them to help us to get the drawing in the right place. But nothing has really an outline. Just my personal style. So do we have an eye? It looks alive. And all that was is three tones. White, mid, dark, dark. This is kind of mid in there. Okay. Maybe we'll pause a minute. See how easy drawing is? <laughs> okay. Hopefully we've got light, mid, dark. In this side. So I'm just kind of reiterating from our sketched outline, just making the dark bit kind of darker in this corner. This is dark underneath. So I'm constantly playing, I know you can't see it because you're just watching me. Um, my brain plays a game spot the difference and that comes around here like that so my theory is with these drawings is that let's just get this curve in while I'm talking so this is like this one and the other one oval shape is that the left brain kind of in, in, from what I understand stores all this information like pictures and let's do that little diamond pizza shape slither pizza and what I found over my 18 years of teaching is that when people know it's a cat they seem to draw the cat that they have in their left brain and don't want to look at the picture in front of them. That happens a lot, a lot in children as well, until you break it down like we are doing here. So my theory is that if you don't see the picture, you're copying the shapes. So there's no kind of preconception of what you're drawing so therefore your brain will only draw the shapes that I'm drawing so I'm just shading that bit in here I'm leaving this bit light this is your darkest this is your mid okay now when we come over here there is the reflection that looks like a window which is another kind of triangle I'm going to put that in, it's darker on the top, often with eyelids. If you look at like pictures of lions as well as cats, the eyelid is darker. So even though the pupil isn't here, so the pupil might only be there, the eyelid kind of comes over, so shadows it. So that's going to be light. I'm going to put another line in there. And I'm going to leave, so it's, this bit's light, okay, I'm going to shade really lightly. Remember the pen, kind of, and then I'm going to go one more, slightly darker, here. Oh yes, nice. Okay, let's do the nose. So with the nose, we have a shape comes there. I probably should pause for you to do some of that shading, shouldn't I? And then we have a curve here and a curve here. This is shaded in. And then it's like a weird little kind of flick. So this one's like that with a flick. And then this is darker down here, not quite as dark as this. So 
I'm just going to do my pigmentation and then this curves and then this is slightly lighter. It looks like a cat. Right. We're going to come down. There's like a dark triangle here. And that comes. And then this is darker, but not as dark as this. Like that. Now, let's come over to this ear. There's actually a light bit around the outside and a dark bit here. So we're going to do some quicker shading. That kind of we've spent a bit longer because I wanted to show you in detail how we break down so they look real and three dimensional. So this comes down to this side here. Now this is all shaded in and this is all quite dark. And then as we come in, there are some spiky hairs here. So we are going to draw the negative space to leave the positive. So if I go like that, can you see I'm leaving white hair? And I can always go back in. And then you can kind of leave chunks. So by me shading the background, I then make those light hairs. And same in here. So this is the shadow underneath these light hairs. So this bit I know is kind of not as dark as this. And we're leaving those light bits. Now, on the other side, this bit is really dark. Yeah. Put my pencil on. That's slightly lighter. And then this joins up here. So I have to just move my body around. That way I can move my body around that way. And it's slightly darker. Here. So we've got a few more white hairs here, so I'm hinting at where they are. There's some that actually and then I'm just going to shade in between. So remember, you could also, if you have one of those rubbers, pull out white lines like that. And I wanted to show you another piece of um, equipment, actually, which is, a, which is a blender. Mine's nice and clean, as you can see. Um, and I wanted to just show you how, when you're doing cats, something that has a smoother area, you can use this. So it's basically paper stamp. So you can actually just use your finger. Um, but you can use this just to blend in can you see but you can just use your finger like that but they're quite um they're quite a good tool if you like drawing animals or so it's just a like mashed up paper i think with a paper stump there's a posh word like tortillon or something but I'm not sure, I probably just said tortoise in French or something, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, here. If they've gone too dark, you can just rub them out and then put them back in. Shading these down. Now, I need to go this way. So I can move my body and my arm around. Like this, 
Now while I was talking about the negative, okay, we have an ear. So my brain is asking the question, are the dark bits in this darker, as dark as they are in the eyes? And the answer is no. So I'm coming back and I'm going to put a bit more on. around these edges pressing a bit harder a few but dark bits in here and here so i can't remember if i said it last week but if you have a light object you need a dark next to it if you want it to stand out okay that one's done Let's come to the other side. Actually, let's finish this half in case we run out of time because it is hard to draw a cat in 30 minutes. Now, at least if you've got half, you'll understand how it works. Now, I'm coming on here. I'm thinking about my apple and the contour lines. So as these hairs go round the face, they help to describe the shape. So these ones are going down this way, leaving on. They look a bit long, so I'm just going to go the other way. Now, so this is where, if you have one of these, you could come in and put your light tone in or you could use a pencil or you could just um, kind of um, use your finger. <laughs> so this is a very quick way or even a bit of tissue actually, a bit of tissue with enough pencil. Can you see how quick you would be able to draw? this picture so you're basically picking up your the graphite that you put on and then moving it around but they're really nice for drawing animals that's why I wanted to share it with you in case any of you want to be forget being a scientist and be an animal artist <laughs> joking okay right let's do a bit more Right here to here. Now we're darker over this one. We're darker in that shape that we did earlier. Yeah. Here we are dark again up here. To here, leaving a little bit of a white edge there. We're going to come back in. Remember when we did the negative lines? So you can get different shapes and angles. Can you see there? And then shading in. We also have a few of those lines that we had over here. This bit, I often do the bit which kind of is the easiest to see. So this bit doesn't have any hairs. And it's kind of this mid to kind of mid shading. This bit slightly lighter. So I'm going to put that bit in. And this bit is darker. So can you see how quickly you don't need to spend ages? You can very quickly fill in tones. Slightly lighter. This is dark in here. And then coming over to here. I have to check the time. 15 seconds. <laughs> so we haven't finished. I'm going to keep going just for a little bit. You can see the difference on there. Half an hour goes so quickly. 
and when you're having fun. Let's duck. Let's get this chin in. This is shadowed. I'm going to do some whiskers. So they kind of go in a line. And can you see I fleck? Okay, so we haven't finished our cat. But somebody requested it. I hope you can see what you can achieve. Um, and then you perhaps can have a go on one of your pets at home. So this would be all shaded. Let me show you quickly. That would be shaded. You can use your finger. So you could take a screenshot of this and then uh, you could doodle while you're working. <laughs> so we would spend longer shading. Uh, chin's darker. So my brain's going, where's dark? Where's light? Dark on the chest. Okay. Okay, so I hope you liked it and I will speak to you soon. Bye.